There will never be another player like Mike Trout, and I know this for a fact. He is literally one of a kind and will go down as one of the best players in history. But Mike Trout is actually even better than you think, and that is precisely why there will never be another player like him. There are certain aspects to his career that nobody on YouTube seems to talk about for some reason, and once we go over them in this video, you will never be able to look at him the same way. And I know this because I did extensive research on this topic and have watched baseball for my entire life. My name is Aaron and I run Diamond Digest with my two high school friends, James and Charles, and we are three washed up high school baseball players that have nothing better to do than analyze every play on another dreary midseason Angels game to make this video. And we are on a mission to entertain the world with our baseball content. We are so dedicated to it that the person who gets the least views of the three of us on their videos each month will have to do an impractical jokers like punishment in the community tab that you won't want to miss. But something even harder to miss than that is the epic story of Mike Trout. Trout comes from a boring part of New Jersey named Vineland in Cumberland County. Like many great players, Mike had a father who drove him to love baseball and strive for perfection in his craft. And he was no wannabe amateur either. Jeff Trout played baseball for the University of Delaware, and he was picked by the Minnesota Twins in the fifth round back in 83. But after playing in the minors for four years, Trout Sr. suffered a torn plantar fascia and retired. But pretty soon, the young Trout became obsessed with the game. He remembers, didn't matter where I was, at home, at the ballpark, whether it was wiffle ball in the front yard or BP at someone's house, I just always wanted to hit. I feel bad for my dad because I was all over it. I was just like, we've got to get to the field. And after childhood, there was never any question that Trout was a first-rate athlete. When attending Millville Senior High School in New Jersey, Mike was a baseball and basketball star. And he could pitch his butt off too. I mean, there was barely anything that this guy couldn't do. Trout even threw a no-hitter during his junior year. Oh, and that year, he also broke the New Jersey record by hitting 18 home runs for the season. Not too shabby if you ask me. I guess if things had gone a little differently, Trout could have been another two-way all-star for the Angels. Speaking of the Angels, they had their eyes on Mike very early on. When he was just 17, Angel scout Greg Moorhart said this was the fastest and strongest player of that age that he had ever seen. But despite his fantastic talent, Mike wasn't one of the highest rated prospects in the majors. He was actually picked 25th in the 2009 MLB draft. That means his incredible talent and potential were going unrecognized. The reasons were pretty dumb, honestly. Trout often played shortstop and people weren't convinced by his abilities there. Then when Mike was moved to the outfield, there were new problems. In 2006, another right-handed hitting outfielder from Jersey Billy Rowell had been a big flop. Therefore, one of the Angel Scouts recalls, you had the left-handed hitter from Jersey who flopped, plus the white right-handed hitting outfielder from the Northeast stigma. You fit everything people don't want to spend money on. I thought we had a shot. And at this point, Trout's career almost seemed stopped in its tracks. Times were tough at this point for Mike. But he had many great coaches and mentors over the years to keep him encouraged. But there is no doubt that his true mentors were and remain his parents. While his father was a former player, his mother was just as important, teaching Mike to remain humble, balanced, and hardworking. Debbie Trout explained, We told him to be a good person, and everything else will take care of itself. You are kind, and you are respectful. And Mike used this motivation from his parents to push through the difficult times and pursue his dreams no matter how much recognition he was given in the draft. And as he officially begun his career with the Angels in 2011, things were looking okay. But everything started off pretty slow to be honest, and in 40 games that season, Mike hit a completely discouraging 220 with 5 home runs. But then in 2012, everything changed. In Mike's official rookie season, he set the league on fire. Mike was an absolute animal. He was named an All-Star and won American League Rookie of the Year with 30 homers, a 326 batting average, and a plus 168 OPS. Oh yeah, he also led the league with 129 runs scored, 49 stolen bases, and a war of 10.5. I remember watching the season and thinking to myself, holy shit, a new superstar has arrived to the MLB and I don't want to toot my own horn, but I was freaking right. 
and Trout didn't slow down after his electric 2012 season for nothing. In the 2013 season, he finished second in the MVP voting for the second time, and he was only in the league for two full seasons at this point. That's two for two, baby. And the following year, in 2014, he won the MVP award for the first of three times. Trout was basically a walking Iron Man from early on in his career. He would whack 30 to 40 home runs every year, play nearly every game, make some of the most insane diving plays ever seen, and absolutely carry my fantasy baseball team each year. Mike Trout, I'm not even kidding, I think he was drafted first overall for five consecutive years in my league. And the craziest part about him is he did all of this so, well, easily it seemed. His swag, his swing, it's like water, it's so fluid. His running, catching, gameplay, it's like he was built to play baseball. Trout got so good so quickly that it was hard to believe he could even improve, but then somehow he found a way. By his 2018 season, he was playing what was considered to be some of the best baseball of all time. Let's look at a quick stat line from 2018. Trout hit 39 home runs, fire, batted 312, goaded, and had an OPS of 1.088, dog. I mean, that's just insane. I don't even think I could get that stat line in a middle school baseball game, and he did it in the most competitive baseball league in the world. But then, in 2021, everything changed. Trout had never been plagued by injury in his career and had always played at least 114 games in a season. But in 2021, he only played 36 games due to a strained calf. This was crushing to the superstar. For the first time in his career, he wasn't superhuman. He was just as human as you and me. And to make things worse, Shohei Otani was putting together one of the best seasons in baseball history, making a clear campaign for his eventual first MVP, with his right-hand man Trout nowhere to be found on the field. Despite this, Trout tried to remain optimistic for his return in 2022, ready to come back and become a baseball god again. But that never happened. In 2022, Trout suffered an additional injury with back inflammation missing another significant portion of the season, and then again in 2023, he broke a bone in his hand only allowing him to play 82 games. If dealing with injuries wasn't enough, Trout had to just watch as his prime World Series potential years were wasted away with the Angels year after year. And that brings us to today, where Trout still stands as an Angels player, but injured. Trout was recently diagnosed with a torn meniscus and looks slated to have another season with less than 80 games played. This new injury is a real bummer, but not just for Trout and Angels fans, honestly I'm a little bummed out too. Trout was a once in a lifetime talent and it seems clear by this being his fourth consecutive injured season that he may never be the same, and I really like seeing him dominate. But the reality is, Trout is doing all he can to recover from his injury. Instead of playing while hurt, he is opting intentionally for the surgery. The downside is it will sideline him for at least two months, but the advantage is that it allows him to return fresh and rejuvenated. Mike says, I felt the best option was to get it right and to be fully healthy to return soon. And honestly, I think it was the right call. All the haters are going to say that this career is gone forever, tanked, but I happen to disagree. I mean, if there were anyone who could beat the odds, wouldn't it be him? And the reason it would be him is because there will never be another Mike Trout. Mike Trout is a physical specimen, a gentleman, an intelligent player, a likable teammate, a speedster, a power hitter, and everything when it comes to baseball. And although he may be remembered for a few years of injury prone baseball, when the retirement bell dings, there is no question he will be remembered more for the electrifying ball play he had from 2013 to 2020. And the coolest part is, he's still not that old. While he is injured now and stepping into maybe his older years, what is stopping him from one more breakout season? The ultimate reality is, after listening to this entire story, if you don't agree with our initial statement that there will never be another player like Mike Trout, then maybe you should rewatch this video to see the amazing story that his career has broadcasted to us and reconsider, because we happen to disagree. But while Trout's legendary story is one for the ages, one of his ex-teammates has an even crazier story. 
You may have heard of him a few times. His name is, uh, what was it? Uh, oh yeah, Shohei Otani. What will happen to Shohei? Where will his career go in the future? Is he in serious trouble right now with this gambling problem? Check out our previous video on Shohei Otani's cheating scandal and let us know what you think.